administration started. I'm sure you are all aware of that. When the new administration is in place, one of the many things we are expecting is what are the new laws and policies that would be implemented. Other than the aggressive campaign against drugs, curfew, curfews will be implemented. If it is not already implemented, the implementation of curfews might not be new for some people, since the country already experienced it in 1972 to 1981 during the time of the late President Ferdinand Marcos. According to the newly elected President Rodrigo Duterte, curfews for minors is mandatory. Mandatory meaning it is required by the law. To further state the obvious, the people who are not yet in legal age are the main ones who will be affected by the implementation of curfew. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defined curfew as, a, as an order or law that requires the people to be indoors after a certain time at night. Curfews always have a tremendous impact in the community. This impact can be easily seen in what we call the youth, which is in fact, I believe, the main reason why curfews even exist. It is vital that we know why curfews are implemented all around the world, especially in the Philippines. Because it will probably be, because it will probably be difficult for us to accept and to adapt to something that is still quite unknown for us here. Especially those who are in the and will be experiencing curfew for the first time. According to an article in the website of Rappler, President Rodrigo Duterte verbally stated that he implements the ordinance in order to protect the children. However, I will elaborate on another probable reason for the implementation of curfew together with the reason stated by the President. First, let me tell you a very brief history about curfew. According to an article in Newsworks, youth curfew dates to the late 19th century when American cities swelled with millions of unsupervised teens. You see, curfew is already a thing of the past and yet we still have it nowadays. Anyway, the first probable reason why curfews are implemented is to increase the safety of the youth. Crime takes place anywhere and at any time, whether day or night. That is how dangerous the world is nowadays. However, it is much harder to call for help at night than in broad daylight. Why is that? Simple, because it's night, and night is full of darkness, literally and figuratively. Thus, it is not safe for the youth to be outside late at night. One of the things that threatens the safety of the youth at night is there is a high possibility that there are drunk drivers or simply drunk people driving or roaming around the streets. Drunk people are most of the time people who are out of control. If that's the case, almost anything can happen. Almost any crime can happen. I believe that this further strengthens the argument that the youth needs to be on their own homes at a particular time at night in order for them to be safe. Hence, the implementation of curfew takes place. Another probable reason why curfews are implemented is in order to lessen the crime rates that might happen in the society. This reason is somehow related to the first reason I already mentioned. However, this time it is not only to lessen the crimes that might happen to the youth, but also to lessen the crimes that the youth might create. According to the teenage violence statistics, adolescents and young adults are the most likely age group to be involved in violent crime, and teens that are in gangs are more likely to be involved in violent acts. One example is gang fights. Have you ever heard of gang fights occurring at broad daylight? Not much, right? Well, there might be a few, but they are not that deadly. However, Gang fights at night are most of the time deadly. With that said, there's a high chance that someone might get hurt or worse, be killed. Not only crime rates will increase, but also healthcare costs too. Hence the further need to implement curfews in the community.
1950. In general, peer abuse affects our society drastically. It is not only the youth that is affected, but each and every one of us. However, the impact of peer abuse can easily be seen in the youth than in adults. There are two main reasons why curfews are implemented. One is for safety, two is for lower crime rates. The effect of the nationwide curfew implemented in the Philippines is not yet obvious. However, that might be because the new administration just started. I'm sure though, the effects of curfew will eventually be obvious to the public. If that time comes, we can now ask if the implementation of curfew resulted in more good than harm in the Philippines. Thus, we must keep our eyes open and observe. After all, curfews is all utilized to maintain peace and order in the community. In the end, we, the people in society, are still the ones responsible in making our surroundings a better place.